So this is like perfect timing. I was planning on going hiking and doing some plein air painting today because it is gorgeous and I just got my order from uh, St. Louis Art Supply, which is my first time ordering through them. So let's do a little bit of an unboxing really quick. Okay, I think you can see me like this. Maybe? It's hard because uh, there's only so many well-lit places in my kitchen. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's see. Invoice. Oh my gosh, there's a little cat drawing. That's adorable. Look at that. That's so sweet. Okay, so first up is um, this pinstriping pencil. I really hope this is focused. I'm filming on my phone because that's what I have right now. But I've wanted one of these brushes for so long and I finally found this place and ah uh, gosh, I can't. I'm going to take this with me today. I'm really excited to try it out. And then next up is this Stedler, 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 um, <laughs> uh, blue pencil. Um, so this is specifically a blue that when you do a black and white photo or a black and white scan, it will not get picked up, which is great for me because I'm starting a graphic novel um, thing that's I'm doing traditional art style, so pen and ink. And that'll be really helpful for scanning in documents. Also related to this project, I did not plan on buying this, but then I saw it and was like, wait, this is incredibly useful. Um, so it seems like a normal ruler on one side, but then you flip it around and you have, sorry, just making sure I'm pointing at the right one. Um, but then you have like a centering bit on this side, which will also be super helpful for my graphic novel, which, oh my gosh, I actually can't wait to talk about. I've it's like been taking up all of my experimental space for last little while. And then, oh, right. So sweet. Um, got a new, oh, this is so pretty, a new Sailor um, fountain pen, which, oh, this is so, I have two Lammies, and I say two because I thought I had one. I thought I totally lost the other one, but then when I was finishing cleaning out the cabin I've been living in the last three years, um, I found the second one, so now I have three, and oh, I just, oh, this color is so lovely. Green is my favorite color, and not just because it's my last name. Um, and not just because I'm a farmer. Um, so yeah, it came up with some ink. So after I, or is this the last thing? This might actually be the last thing. This is a deceptively large box. Yeah, okay, that's it. So, um, let's see, it looks like it says it's tested, but um, I'm gonna get this loaded up and do some trials. All right, and I'm just gonna take a moment with this, hopefully, enjoyable b-roll film uh to bring up my graphic novel project um i have had this story idea for forever and i'm finally making it happen um at some point i think i'm going to do a video dedicated just to it so i'm not going to talk about it too much here but yeah there's a lot to learn uh this is something i've wanted to do for like a really long time just kind of secretly quietly for myself um and i'm so stoked this year that i'm gonna be able to make it happen so stay tuned oh that's also bad <laughs> sorry you either get a view of my closet i just moved like well it was like a month ago but i haven't quite finished decorating so you either get closet view or blank wall because i haven't finished hanging anything up yet and by I haven't finished I mean I haven't started <laughs> but yeah so I like the pen it writes pretty smooth um I'm not it's kind of like a gray ink as opposed to black um but it, it writes really nicely it has a really fine line so it'll be great for doing detail work because I do a lot of my illustration and I'm gonna be moving a little slow because uh I'm holding my phone up I did not plan entirely on video um but yeah, so just doing some character studies, uh, just gonna throw this out here. This specifically was a, a study of an illustration um, Flesh.png did, um, and then this I did after, once I got a sense of the strokes. Um, 
And that was all done with the Lamy pen and some more. I stayed up until like 1.30 in the morning <laughs> trying these. And you can kind of tell. Uh, you can kind of really tell. But it's fine. I haven't done figure drawing in forever. And I need to do a lot of it. <laughs> but yeah, so I like those pens. And I'm going to test the pencil really quick. Sweet. So here is... A little sketch page you can see the blue and i think i need to restart this so i can show you what it looks like grayscale i might need to take a photo real quick okay so it might i'll have to experiment with it a little bit more and, or watch some youtube videos but didn't i don't think it worked super great with my camera lens at least but um i'll figure it out <laughs> it'll be i really i've been looking for one of that so that was four things i ordered um i'm not gonna swatch up do any test paints with the um my dig this dude i need to come up with a name for him because i'm already forgetting what it's called my pinstriping brush there we go um but yeah so those are the four things i ordered i'm gonna go clean this up and then the next time you see me i will probably be outside <laughs> Oh, what are you thinking about? <laughs> I forgot I had a bunch of errands to run in Missoula, so <laughs> soft rock didn't happen today. I'm gonna go tomorrow, um, and I'm feeling bold, so I'm gonna do another vlog tomorrow, and, uh, Finish up today's little vlog with a cow painting using some little canvas panels I impulse picked up at Walgreens last time I was there, getting something I need, um, <laughs> instead of doing some plein air painting. Where are you going, puppy dog? Huh? Where are you going? She doesn't know. We're on a dead end road. There's not many places to go. But <laughs> yeah, went up to Missoula instead of going for a little walk and paint and then I set up my hammock outside because it's like 60 degrees and then did not move <laughs> for an hour and a half uh, which was necessary it's it's good to have times like that but yeah being anxious to make something I also uh, remembered at one point when I was inside I have a friend who's moving back home well back to Germany so I need to do some print making so I can send her off with one of my beetle prints so I might film some of that as well. So I I think I said in the, one of the last clips that you would next time you would see me I would be outside and I have delivered. Uh, so ne now next time you'll see me I will be inside. Riveting stuff here. <laughs> Sorry this is gonna be a super awkward little voiceover because I screwed something up with the video and now of course I can't just I haven't figured out how to move the audio <laughs> sorry this is another thing I'm doing on my phone it's very exciting look at that blue it's so nice it's yeah okay I'm gonna throw it over to the actual voiceover now sorry <laughs> sweet so this was um nice little experiment with I think it was a three pack of canvases for like less than five dollars and they came pre-primed and I mean they were okay. <laughs> oh, those are the colors. Um, so I did a quick little sketch with just some blue colored pencil and then did major color blocking. Um, so since finishing, and you can't see this because this is a voiceover, but I am doing air quotes, finishing this painting, I've decided um, I will be going back over it to get more of a abstract art kind of vibe going on. I, I'm i not totally super stoked with how it came out, um, but oh gosh, I this green is like my favorite color. I wish it was a little bit more opaque though. Um, but yeah, so you'll see that in probably not my next video but the one after so I'm gonna let it dry and ruminate on it for a little bit before I figure out how I want to
get it to where I want it to be. And then, yeah, I <laughs> was doing this late at night. This is so stupid. Um, I don't use a palette. I just squeeze what I think I need onto the canvas or onto straight onto my paintbrush. So this is a mess. I essentially used a lot of the excess after deciding that getting it back into the bottle was too much of a pain in the ass. So I just primed another canvas with it. And I just... I do, the one thing I love about this is that little cow, the calf in the corner, is just so adorable, but yeah, that's the only thing I'm like super stoked with about this painting. <laughs> but yeah, I'll be coming back at you with another vlog tomorrow. See you then.